Hey there, everybody. How you guys doing? Doing all right? Hanging in there, getting through all this stuff. I am doing the same exact thing. Well, today we are gonna revisit Lock Raven. If you remember, I vlogged that a couple months ago. Went to the dam and the reservoir. This time we're going back deep into the woods to see what we will find. And I invited my friend Mary to come along. She's a hiker, and so I thought she would enjoy it. Plus, she knows tips about hiking, which I do not. So we're off on this adventure together. I'm gonna go pick her up, and we'll be on our way. Are you guys ready? Let's do it. Away we go. All right, so here we are at Pot Spring Road. This is the end of Pot Spring Road right here. And there's the Beetle Mobile. And there's Mary. She's ready for the hike. You ready to have some fun? Sure. Go exploring? Yep. Go find some graveyards? <laughs> and this is the trail. Dear friends, kindly carry your bottles and cans back home. Many thanks. We will do that. And away we go. All right, gang, so here's the deal. We are in search of Merriman's graveyard. It's an abandoned graveyard that's been back here for a very very long time the last time I saw it was back in 1984 so I believe this is the way to it we're gonna find out all right so we arrived at a fork in the, the trail and we or I believe we're gonna go left I think this is the way might have to check down there though later. Oh, and here's that okay. troll bridge I was telling you about. Mary, do you believe in trolls? Sure. Yeah, me too. Let's see if we see one under the bridge. <laughs> All right, so here we are. The world famous troll bridge. Those are not trolls. Those are regular human beings. But yeah, this was just, uh, we called it the troll bridge. On our way we go. All right, so we're still on the trail in search of the Merriman's graveyard. And I don't know if you can see through the trees there. There's the uh, Lock Raven Reservoir. We've probably gone about three quarters of a mile so far. Keeping our eyes open now. It's gonna to be to the left. I believe anyway. Actually, I'm pretty sure it's gonna to be to the left. All right, so we think this is the trail to Merriman's. So we're following it. Unsure, but I guess we will find out. We're all gonna find out together. To be honest with you, we took a wrong turn <laughs> and uh, probably walked for another mile or so till we figured out we went too far. So we came back and we think this is it. So we're looking and I'm also keeping an eye out for poison ivy. All right, so we're turning around. This wasn't it either. <laughs> we are gonna find this, I promise you. We are gonna find it. By the way, it's very hot. It's another hot and humid muggy day. But we are prepared. We brought water and Gatorade. 
so we stay hydrated. We're also keeping an eye out for spiders and snakes. Mary just loves snakes. <laughs> All right, gang. I think we found it because I see a wall over here. Yes, we found it. See, long abandoned. Out here in the woods of Lock Raven. Last time I was here, which was back in the 80s, they didn't have a sign like this. But we will not disturb, but take a look at this. Look at this. It's amazing. Wow. I think when I was here the last time, that one in the center had a big monument on top of it. Don't want to go in. It looks like there's a, a lot of poison ivy in there. Now, when I was here, I came back. I came here with a friend of mine in the 80s, I think 84. And I had a Super 8 camera. And we decided to make a uh, just a goofy little Super 8 film. Where we both come in here exploring these graves and... Uh, Somehow, some way, I suddenly turn into a werewolf. So I'm going to try to find that footage and add it to this vlog so you guys can see it. But this is not the way that I remembered. It was actually in a lot better shape back when I was here last time over 35 years ago. But this is Merriman's graveyard. Check out the gate. Does it creak when you open it? I don't want to let any ghosts out. <laughs> so what do you think, Mary? We finally found it. Hey, finally. <laughs> it only took us a couple hours, but we, we found it. Now somewhere back here is there, there's uh, like foundations of some of their homes that they lived in. Let's see, this one here is Harry Lee Merriman, born in 1867, can't really see the date of death there, January, can't tell. And that one there is Laura Virginia Merriman. Hard to read the dates. And that is Eleanor Merriman. Can you read the dates on any of them? Nineteen oh seven, it looks like her date of death. Back here in the woods of Lock Raven. Thought it was going to be easy to find. It wasn't. But we were determined. There's one that's knocked over. And even back in the 70s, we used to come back here at night for the thrill and just, you know, hang out a little bit. But it's uh, not being cared for at all. It's a shame. And I'm sure there's more graves than what you see. 
There's a lot of headstones that are either missing or knocked over. Because when I was back here in the, in the 80s, 84, there were some that were loose and fallen over. And when we made, uh, we made. All right, so one last look before we depart. Apparently there is like a, a foundation of a house somewhere nearby here and a, like a wine cellar that's still around. But uh, I don't have any idea where it is. I'm going to have to research it and come back. But yeah, this is uh, Merriman's Graveyard. It took us a while to find it on this hot day. We're both very hot. <clears throat> so we're going to wait, make our way back now. And I'm going to show you the, the path that we took. So in case any of you guys want to come check this out sometime. So it's this little path we go for about what? Five couple, minutes. Yeah, five minutes on it. Down to the main path in which we will take a right to go back up toward where we parked on Pot Spring Road. And through the trees over there on the other side is the reservoir. But again, you can see back here, if I turn around, you can't tell that there's a cemetery back there at all. And we actually came up this path earlier and stopped thinking that, all right, this is in it. But then we went back and went far enough and then we saw it. So, turn around here. Coming to the end of the trail that led up to the cemetery or the graveyard. And this is the main trail that we took in from Pot Spring Road. So, you can see we went down that way too far the first time. But this is the trail that goes up to the graveyard. And over there to my left is the reservoir. That's where we came from. This is where we're going, but we're going to venture off down here. We're going to try to. <laughs> there's some people down there in the water and there's, there's like a little waterfall looks refreshing we may jump in it the way we feel right now this little uh, they got the right idea look at that <laughs> Now this goes right out into the reservoir. Which is straight up ahead. There's a little waterfall here. Children having a good time. And the water goes right out here. Into the reservoir. <laughs> yeah, they have the right idea. <laughs> All right, so we came from back that way. That stream that we were just at is on the right. And here's another trail here. This is not the one that you want. You can see there's a little, it's the orange trail. So you wanna go past that, 
go down here and what is it about maybe a five minute walk mm -hmm. there's like a curve to your next one on your left. Yeah, to, to your next curve on your left and follow that and then um merriman's is uh just uh not 20 feet the path to it 30 feet so all right Mary says, look at the mushrooms. So let's look at the mushrooms. <laughs> Not for eating, okay? <laughs> so if you come here and you see these mushrooms down here, if I can get them in the picture. Um, right there. Avoid. It's a hot one, guys. But we, uh, we brought Gatorade and water. Been going through that. Trying to stay hydrated because uh, we lose electrolytes. I know I had a blood test earlier in the week, and from doing all the sweating, I lost a lot of potassium. So, got to keep an eye on that. Stay hydrated. We're off to our next adventure. This isn't done yet. We've got one more place to go. So, we are not done. All right, so we're coming back. Over the troll bridge that we walked over hours ago, it seems like. <laughs> yeah. Still no trolls. You have to come back at night to see them. That's when they come out. All right, just ahead is the gate where we came in. And just beyond the gate, where we're parked we're gonna head to the next lock raven adventure stay tuned all right so we're continuing our trek here in lock raven and we're in search of the remains of what used to be glen ellen's castle which was built in 1833 and then it was demolished in 1929 but there are remains back here and that's what we're in search of we've been doing a lot of hiking lots of hiking so let's see what we can find up here we made it to Sam's grave. Now, this is a dog that's buried here on the trail. He was born in 1975 and died in 1989. And as you can see, Sam was a great dog. And this is his grave. And he's near the Glen Ellen's remain, or Glen Ellen Castle remains. And that's what we're going to look for next. Sam, my friend, rest in peace. I see some people brought you some, some toys. All right, so not too far from Sam's grave, we found the grave of a kitty. Galopi, born in 1995, adopted from a shelter, devoted cat for 21 years, is buried right here. Nice. All right, so we came upon what's left of the Glen Ellen Castle. It's right in here. Now, let me pull back here and zoom in. There is some foundation over there. And there's something right down in here. Where is it? Right there. And I'm sure there's more. We're gonna see if we can find some more, but I'm gonna show you a picture 
of what it looked like back when the castle was here, which was uh, stunning, actually. We passed by some people on the way and we asked them if they knew where it was and they said that they tried looking for it but couldn't find it, but we found it. All right, let's see if we can find anything else. All right, so we're gonna walk up here and see if there's, if there's anything else that we can see or maybe a path down there because uh, we don't wanna go through this we don't know what's what's down there but there is another shot of some type of foundation and it's something We may have to come back in the fall or early winter. See anything else, Mary? No. No? Yeah. But we know where it is. It used to sit here before it was uh they put dynamite to it back in 1929. All right, so there wasn't much left of the castle that we saw, just a couple of things, but buried underneath all that brush, there's more. So maybe a better time to come back would be in the late fall but we know where it is and there was a castle there a long time ago pretty cool a lot of people don't know that but yep lock raven once had a big castle so i hope you at least enjoyed our journey to it and saw where it was the hike it took us a good hour or so to get to it now we're making our way back got another long hike to go we're making our way back to the car we cut through someone's backyard got on the street here and look there's a, a deer right over there and it sounds like there's a party going on. Hi, dear. We were thinking about crashing it and getting a much needed uh, beverage. <laughs> I'm sure you guys can hear the music. It's, uh, what's that song called? That's how much, how much, is it Firefall? You guys let me know. But yeah, someone's having a uh, live music in their backyard. We still have a bit of a walk to go. Just to give you an idea, guys, uh, we started at 11.30 this morning. And it's now, what, 5.45? Yeah. 5.45. So we've been hiking pretty much for six hours, over six hours. Right, on two different trails. One, yeah, two different trails, right? Some nice homes back here though. Look at out. This was what, Dogwood Street? I think, okay. yeah, Dogwood Court. Yep. So there. Yeah. Nice little area. Wouldn't mind living out here. Hey, look, we can shoot some hoops, Mary. Mm -hmm. Come on, it's not like we're hot enough right now. Basketball <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, we're heading back to the car right now. As you can see, 
We're very sweaty. hot and sweaty. <laughs> Probably smelly too, so a good thing you can't smell through camera. No, but uh, we did a lot of hiking today. We hope that you enjoyed this adventure that we went on. We got to see Merriman's uh, graveyard. And let's make sure this car isn't flying up this way, and it is. Yikes. Crap. Speed racer. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we didn't see much of uh, the uh, Ellen, the Glen Ellen Castle ruins, but it's there. At least we know where it is. I just learned about it uh, earlier this year and uh, been intrigued by it. A lot of people have tried to find it and couldn't find it, but at least we did find it, right? Yep. We found it. Just a little overgrown. So. <laughs> and um, come back when it's not overgrown. Yeah, going to come back when it's uh, maybe in the late fall and see if we can see what else is there. So I want to thank you guys for watching and. Uh, Please feel free to share and like this vlog. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. I appreciate it. I'm going to see you on the next one. Until then, you guys stay safe. Stay hydrated. I know we need to be hydrated. So until then, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Oh, and I want to thank Mary for joining me too. Thank you, Mary. You're welcome. Thanks for see ya. coming our way out.